Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to remove OneDrive from the Quick Access section of File Explorer and then also show you how to put it under this PC if you want it there instead. So some people have it up here by default, some people have it down here by default. Not sure exactly what determines that, but I've seen it both ways. But if you have it here and you want to move it down here, we're going to show you how to do so. Alright, so to accomplish this, we're going to do some uh, registry edits here. So I have uh, individual files here. So I have one to remove one drive from the quick access, one to add it to this PC, one to remove it from this PC, and then one to add it back to quick access. So here's what each file looks like. The one to remove it from quick access, one to add it to this PC, the one to remove it from this PC, and then the one to add it back to quick access. Alright, so first we're going to remove it from Quick access here, so we'll do this one first. Let's close File Explorer. So we'll just double click the registry file. So you'll need to be an administrator to do this. So we'll click on yes. And then this just tells us that we're adding information from this file to the registry. So we'll click on yes and then OK. So you may have to either restart your computer or Windows Explorer if it doesn't show up or disappear. All right, so that's gone, so we didn't need to do so. But if you don't know how to restart uh, Windows Explorer, so if you'd rather do that than restart your computer, you can right click on the taskbar, go to Task Manager. Good idea to close File Explorer first, so you make sure you get the right one. And it's usually at the bottom, then you can just right click on it, restart, and your taskbar will kind of disappear and come back. So then when it's back, you know it's ready to go, and then you can check it again. All right, so now that we don't have it. Here, we're going to add it to this PC by double clicking this registry file. Go through the same process. All right, so now we have it under this PC. So I have seen it where sometimes it will show up under here as well. And sometimes it doesn't. Even on the same computer when I was testing it out, one time it showed up here, uh, one time it just showed up here. So you're going to have to see. If that works for you, if not, then at least you'll have it under this PC with your main drives here. Or you might have it in both, so you'll have to see how that works for you. So if you change your mind and you want to remove it from this PC, we could just double click this file here. And now it's gone from this PC. And then if you want to add it back to quick access, we could do this file here. Now it's back here. All right, so let's say you want it in both locations. So we already have it here, and let's say we want to have it in this PC as well. We could just run this one here again. And now you can see this time, for whatever reason, it showed up here as well. And then we have it here. So let's do one more test here. Let's leave this alone and then remove this from here and see if this stays on the left hand side. All right, so now it's gone from here and it's still here, but it's not on the side. And that kind of tells me that in order to have it on the left side under this PC, you're going to have to have it here as well. So that might be a trade-off. So let's confirm that by adding it back to here. All right, so now you can see we have it here, and then what's under here. So I guess it boils down to, if you want to have it under this PC on the left, you're going to have to have it here too. But if you remove it from quick access here and add it to this PC, it's only going to be in this section here. So I guess that's better than nothing. All right, so anyways, I will include a link in the description where you can download these files, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.